Welcome. We're on a catch and cook and camp at this remote creek. And I'm with one of the best fishermen that I know, Jet. So Jet, what's so special about this trip? The vibe of this place is like no other. Just so untouched. Getting down here, you don't see footprints. You see like elk tracks, deer scat. It's kind of surreal because you just take it all in and you just kind of realize where you are and how secluded you are. So you ready to get after this? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Let's go get some dinner. Okay, and we're so glad to have you along. Pretty good dude. Got up the fire pit. Yeah. This seems like some nice. flat flat ground too. Nice fishing holes right here. Oh yeah. This looks like the place to be. So what's real interesting about being here with Jet is that there's no time to set up camp. Mm -hmm. That's secondary. You get right to the fishing. You see a hole, you just get your rod, get it in the water, man. Good way to start the trip. Oh, I love those red dots. Look at the red on the back dorsal fin there. Backpacking hike today was two miles. We're at 5,100 feet above sea level. Our gain was 345 feet. I was using a ground trout spinner and I wasn't getting anything, so I changed over to power bait. I need to get me some dinner. Very nice rainbow. Ooh, that's pretty. HC trout lure. Another one's on. Another bubble. First one's a little bigger, but sure pretty. Now we have one, two, and then three. It's gonna be a good dinner. I'm gonna clean the smallest one and then fillet the bigger one. Very nice to wear. Beautiful meat. Panko bridge grooms. The one I cleaned. We're gonna try something new. We're gonna put bacon in with it. This bacon is pre-cooked, but it's still got some fat in it. And we're putting ghee on them. And some avocado oil. Wrap them in four sheets of aluminum foil so they don't burn. I'm gonna boil up some water for some freeze-dried corn. This is delicious stuff. David taking all the precautions of the wilderness, making sure absolutely no animal smells us till now. How long until you flip it? Ah, start to hear it sizzle. Leap fish is done. Campfire fish with bacon. Yum.
Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Our bacon really makes it taste good. Heck yeah. Got some corn. Oh yeah. Got some really good stuff. <laughs> well, this is the end of day number one. We were going to do, what, four days? Yeah. Turned out pretty good, I think. What do you think? Yeah. We ripped into six fish total. You caught two nice rainbows. I caught two little browns and two bows. I think it'll be interesting tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that's all we got. Good night. Good morning. Overnight low? 38, right? Not too bad? No. Not when you have a 20 degree bag. I think I'm more than okay as long as it doesn't go past like 30. What do you got on the schedule for today? I haven't decided if I want to go up or downstream. We're probably going to end up doing both today. Yeah, I think we're going to have a good day today. Oh, this guy's so cool looking. Wow, absolutely destroyed it. Awesome. Beautiful little bow. Wow, that's beautiful. Kind of an amber color. Oh, look at those. You see them? Heck yeah. Good fish. male brown trout, probably about 15, 16 inches, I'd say. Look at the red dorsal, super cool. Beautiful little brown trout. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Big. Thank you, buddy. Saw the female brown. I accidentally hooked her in the gills, so we're gonna eat her up. These are gonna be for our catch and cook trout dinner. Well, we're done fishing for the day. We're gonna go back to camp and cook up our mess of fish. We're gonna do fish and chips tonight, so we have two jet boils. This one's gonna be for the potatoes, and this one's gonna be for the fish. I've put our trout fillets in panko and zataran season. Trout in there. That fish looks good. Rainbow trout. Mm. Boy, that's white. White meat. Wow. Really good though. Oh my goodness. Well, I got this nice red potato. Put some potatoes in the dredges that we just had. It's gonna go really well. Let these cool and then we'll recook them. They don't cook all the way through before they're mild. There they are. Looking good. 
we cooked them once, took them out, put them back in the seasoning. So now we're re-tossing them and we're gonna refry them. Nice chip. Wow. Wonderful. Literally a chip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm, that's a meaty one. Oh yeah. We got russets and reds, and I really can't tell the difference. The only difference is the russets don't cook through as well as the um, the reds. I like the mix. Oh good. It's a great way to eat out here, isn't it? It's nice being able to eat like this. So we're wrapping up our dinner with some dark chocolate cheesecake. That is so good. Mm. So we ended up catching about, what, 20 fish today? Yeah, the male brown I caught today was pretty cool. Now uh, this small creek just blows me away. Oh yeah. Well, the sun is behind the mountain, and it has been for quite a while. It's like 5.15. Yeah. It's dark. Well, that's it for today. Good night. Good morning. So what do we have planned for today? Uh, we're gonna fish pretty hard. We're not gonna be backpacking in the woods today because of the amount of daylight we have. It's just not easy to do what we want. So we have to start pretty early so that way we have enough time for a good fish dinner. We're gonna do beer batter deep fried fish tonight. That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so shall we get going? Oh yeah. Good male brown trout. Nice male. Beautiful, isn't it? Really good, bro. That's a planner, though. Yep. This is what we came here for, David. Big male browns. 
This isn't even the biggest. This is just like about a, what, 17? Oh my god. That's a big one. That's the big one, David. David. David, David, David. David. Seems crazy. Seems crazy, David. Oh, that's a another huge male. Fact. Check that out. Absolutely crushed it. God, that's a beauty. Killing machine. Oh, he is so beautiful. Yeah. It's like a work of art. Look at his genetics. Look how orange he is. I know. <laughs> That looks like a tiger almost. This is where the tiger gets the orange, right there. You can tell by the black bottom that he's been spawning. He's been active. Holy crap. Holy cow. Big old male. This guy's probably like four years old, five years old. We're back from fishing. You got some nice fish. Yeah, I got three male brown trout. Two literally back to back. It was kind of crazy in the same exact hole. First guy took the HD, took me across the pool. That was awesome. And then I was about to give up on this hole. And David said, cast into the waterfall. I cast it right over, pulled it through. And of course, the line went straight as hell. That's how you know you get a big one. It's a crazy feeling. I think I probably caught about 10. All rainbows. So that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So oh yeah, let's get it going. Rainbows. We have beer batter mix, and then I just put in some Miller High Life, just a little bit. I've never done this before, so this is a new experience. This filet is coming out of the beer batter. Wow, that's something. Oh my gosh. Got a giant bag of potatoes. Barely able to get it to zip, but I managed to do it. I think you gotta cook the fish first, because the beer batter browns so fast. So we're gonna cook the fish first. What we've done is pre-cook these. Now we're gonna put fish in the batter. They cook real fast. Looks pretty good to me. These look amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, let's try these fish, see what we think. And that's what it looks like. Wow, that's the closest you're ever gonna get to heaven with fish. My girlfriend had me try some fish in a restaurant. It's so gross. This, I could eat this all day. Yeah, it's like junk food. Oh my gosh, look at that. Absolutely delicious. Oh my God. Now we're gonna pound potatoes. We've cooked up some of these chips and done a one time. Now we're gonna put chip in this beer batter. Let's see how that goes. Here we go. <laughs> oh 
Oh, that's so good. It's like candy. Well, would you have these again? I easily think that make backpacking a hell of an adventure. I literally already carry the jet boil with me. There is zero point in me not bringing some beer batter. That's gonna be it for tonight because it's gonna get dark. Yeah, let's start a fire and get ready for bed. Okay, good night. Good morning. It's the beginning of day number four. It does get cold in these mountains. Ridiculous, I never thought it'd get like this cold. All right, well, let's sit by the fire and warm up. What adventures do we have planned for today? We should pack camp, get ready to basically leave, and then leave our fishing gear out and fish all day. Good way to end the trip. Really good way. Well, this is gonna be the end of our adventure on this small creek. What was your absolute top moment? Not gonna lie, the very first, well, the first big one. So I casted that pool for a while and then cast it right in front of like a single shrub, started pulling my bait in and all of a sudden he just stormed out and ate it right in front of me. Like he came out so fast and hit it so hard that I just pulled him right on shore. Like it was a two second fight, but I watched the whole thing. My favorite fish that I caught was that rainbow where it was in between those rocks and I just ran my spinner through there. Yeah. And I got that rainbow. And he came out. That was crazy. Yeah. And this is a really cool place. It's very quiet. Uh, it's just been beautiful down in here and great weather. Yeah, perfect weather. We chose like the perfect days. Well, thank you, Jeff, for bringing me down in here. And thank you for coming along. So, until next time.